Hello, survivors. January Updates is here with huge scale of balance overhaul and new Battle Royale season. Huge balance overhaul update has been made in light of New Year. Let's go over the weapon balancing first. First of all, shooting motions have been adjusted on each different weapon to add more dynamic gunplay, so check it out. Long distance damage for SMG, AR, LMG have been decreased. Now the positioning of each gun is clearly specified. We want you to take advantage of each different weapons by using in various situations with different shooting range. Next is specific weapons with balance adjustments. M249 Customizing C1 Extended Mag has been increased to 200 rounds. Customizing C2, the size of attachable shield, has gotten larger than before. As for M249, updates have been made on customizing to give dramatic performance change. You can now add 8x scope to MK47 Mutant. Customizing C1, long barrel's rate of auto fire increased. Stick around for C2 customizing on MK47 Mutant, which will be made soon. You can now add 8x scope to M16A4. A rate of auto fire had increased on customizing C1 bump stock and open foregrip slot. Increased damage EXP is now added to customizing C2 savage barrel and open foregrip slot. Barrel damage increased for SLR customizing C2 5.56mm. Increased muzzle velocity has been added to customizing C2 5.56mm. Damage for Tommy Gun customizing C1 long barrel and open scope slot has decreased. Customizing C1 enhanced stock and open scope slot for Micro Uzi now comes with increased damage drop off distance stats. With increased range through C1 customization, Micro Uzi has now become more versatile. S1897 Customizing C2, slug damage has increased dramatically. Auto shooting speed for L85A3 has increased. This resolved low DPS issue, which L85A3 had, despite its high stability. Shooting speed for DSR1 has increased slightly. Damage for Car 98 k VSS M110A1 has increased. Damages for Scorpion has decreased slightly. Now for the introduction on balance of vehicles. There were feedbacks that VCAB is extremely slow to drive, so overall speed has increased. Maximum speed regulation was also raised. HP for UAZ, Vryan, Vryan T and Electron increased and their speed decreased slightly. Dacia and Volta's speed increased slightly. Stability for motorbike, motorbike sidecar, Lightning and Vulture increased to bring more stable movement. Durability and maximum speed limit for boat, wave rider, aqua rail have increased. Balance adjustments has been made at the drone store as well. In general, price of the drone store has gone down. Drone store cooldown has reduced from 2 minutes 30 seconds to 1 minute 30 seconds. Delivery drone got faster, so it arrives quickly than before. Durability of a drone has reduced. Now that it got easier to use, we wish you to use the drone store more often. With the feedback from survivors, additional rebalancing will be conducted in the future. Battle Royale Season 7 has begun. Tiers will be reset based on last season's final tier. There are lots of rewards prepared for Season 7 as well, so get the top tier and get all the rewards. Tier points balance will be renewed from this season. Kill points have been raised and lesser points will be deducted than previous season for those who get killed in an early phase. We've improved advantages to induce more aggressive and active play. Also, ranking points have lesser effect and required surviving time to gain maximum survival point decreased. Lastly, the efficiency of earning tier points in a Quinta Battle Royale has been increased. Now, multi-care packages will show up from time to time instead of regular care packages in Troy. Whether or not you'll choose to take a risk by selecting multi-packages is up to you. You can now play Arena in Team Deathmatch. Care package items will not appear at the center of Arena during the Deathmatch. 
and as you die, you'll be respawned at a random spot, close to your camp. In order to speed up each play, the number of kill required for deathmatch is reduced from 40 to 30. Maximum combat level had expanded from 50 to 70. At the end of each level after level 50, you will be given a gun customizing kit, which you can use for deathmatch preset. Shooting gallery ranking has been reset and rewards for current ranking will be given through mailing. Reach higher ranks through reset ranking system. Some patterns appearing on shooting gallery has changed and additional points for SR is reduced from 800 to 500. Try out for the high score once again with renewed shooting gallery. Siege mode ranking has been reset and rewards for previous ranking will be given through the mailbox. Pattern and difficult level has been renewed. Challenge yourself once again to the high score through revised siege mode. Bounty Royal tier and prize have been reset and awards for previous tier will be given through mail. New vehicle VCAB is added to training mode. There will be additional condition for giving gifts to your friends. You must maintain your friend status for more than 72 hours, in addition to having played with a friend for over 10 times in order to give gifts. Your inventory state, which you can select for, display in lobby, is expanded from one main weapon to four weapons. Main weapon 1, main weapon 2, sub weapon, pistol, and close combat weapon. This setting will also be applied at the starting island. You can select different weapon for each preset, so try warming up with various choice of weapon. New State's first anniversary BGM is added to the vehicle radio list. Light graphic option is added for low-end devices. With this, you can now select more detailed function when selecting light mode in low resolution. Survivor Pass Volume 15 begins. Main character for Survivor Pass Volume 15 is Keeper from the Project Dream Runner. Get his face skin as you clear all the story quests. You can upgrade to Premium Pass to get Dream Runner Keeper custom, and our Premium Plus will provide you with abundant gifts right away. Every NC spent for purchasing will be reimbursed when you reach certain amount of level after purchasing Premium Pass. We also have many more updates, so for more information, check out the written patch notes. Thank you, and we'll see you at New Battlegrounds.